have you seen? Glory to God. Well, how many know he's amazing? I said, how many know that he's amazing? Glory to God. Oh, yes, Lord. Well, I tell you, God is real. You know, in life, I want to explain about peace. You know, a lot of people, you know, say they got peace and say they, things pretty good and things going well, all is well. But they be suicidal, they be depressed, oppressed, feel like they about to lose it. Glory to God. And there's a temporary peace. Uh-oh, come on now, I've been there. And an external so-called peace that the world gives. Mm. And the way that the world, you know, tries to maintain peace is through circumstances. Mm. They feel like they're doing well when everything is okay. That's right. When everything is going good, they feel like it's well. I'm at peace now. I'm good. I ain't got no worries. I ain't got no worries. But as soon as something hits, mm. as soon as that circumstance turns against them, that's so true. They about to lose their mind. That's right. They lose focus. Don't know what else they gonna do. Mm. That ain't the real peace of God. Yeah. That's what the world is. You will find yourself trying to maintain it. You will find yourself going crazy trying to maintain something that you never really had. Mm. And you would deceive yourself and feel like, hey, if I just keep everything well, I'm going to have this peace. Mm. But that is not the peace that God wants us to chase after. Mm. Because that peace will fail you every time. Glory to God. And the Bible says there's no peace to the wicked. That's Read right. for me today. Look, outside of Jesus, ain't no peace oh, at come all. Come on now, make it plain. Glory to God. So we want people to understand that. Ain't no peace. Outside of him. So late. Glory to God. So a lot of people, they run running haywire because they're trying to maintain something that they can't keep up with. Ooh, come Glory on to now. God. You can't build or bear your own peace. Mm. Glory to God. It's got to come from on high. Yes. And I'm going to read this. Here, let's go to the word. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that's right. So understand that. Look, it's a lot of folks want peace. You can have it. He wants you to have it. Yes. But it comes through him. Mm, so it comes good. through the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a benefit. Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Oh, what's in the word? Come on now. Let's go to read that one for now. Let's go to Exodus 3. So don't stress yourself trying to maintain a deceptive peace. Mm. Glory to God. Because you know, when you don't know no better, you'll be like I was. You'll be looking for peace and love in all the wrong places. So we are. And then so you'll we are. be dependent mm. and leaning on that situation or whatever you're going after mm. to give you that peace. Yeah, that's so true. See, that's, that's what money did for me. Mm. The more money I thought I had, the more I thought I was good. Mm. But I started realizing the more money I got, the more stuff I got. Now, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Now. Still got a voice. Like yeah, mm. still what happened. Mm. Come on now. At nighttime, when you're around the, the family, when you're around friends and homies and all that, yeah. you're getting high, you're doped up. Yeah, you have, you're having fun. You're feeling good. You ain't worried about nothing. Why? Because you're under the influence of something else. That's right. See, alcohol takes you away from your real reality. Mm. And that's why a lot of people feel like they have to drink so much. They're trying to run from reality. Ooh, come on, They're trying man. to hide from their present circumstances. Yeah. So they feel like, hey, if I drink or I smoke or pop me a pill, hey, my mind is off of what I'm going through. Mm. But you have to realize that pill, that alcohol, that drug is only going to last a few hours or that's so. That's it. That's it. And then you got to pop the one again. Mm. You got to drink again. got to roll up another one. I did it, man. It was, it's, it's in cycles. But I still was getting the same results. Mm. But look at what different though. Yeah. Glory to God. So look, God don't want us. And before you know it, man, you'll be 20 some years, 10 years on something and still ain't found what you're looking for. Oh, and look up goodness. Boy, you be like, my Lord. Ooh, looking for I ain't know I was that bound to junk it out though. Mm. But you lose focus on everything because look. You steady trying to maintain that so-called peace you got. Oh. Oh. Mm. And why you think we used to get so mad? I, well, I know I did when I was hot and somebody came and blew my hot. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, I, I, I took on a whole other attitude. Yeah. Because I was saying, you disturbing my peace. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> That's how I took it. You disturbing my peace. You done blew it. I done paid for this peace. Mm. Huh? I done paid for this. Come on. Hey, for real. We just split up. Hey, come on. A hundred on this peace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't on this peace. Come on now. And you done blew it. Oh, you in the house. Come so, on up. Where I thought was my peace, I was trying to really savor it. Yeah. Mm. But year in and year out, I found out this is deception. Ooh. And that void was still there. Now I'm ripping and running from Tampa, Atlanta, California. Oh, you preaching, Pastor. Panama City. I'm ripping and running. Now come on, I got it all naturally. Mm. I do, but what am I missing? All right. uh, but there was nobody to tell me. Nobody gave me, a, look, I'm, I'm going to give you the title now. If there's an entrance, there's an exit. Yeah. But the key is, what the Bible say? how can they hear without a preacher? Without a preacher. Mm. I was a dope head. There were no preachers around me. Oh. Oh, there were no preachers around me. That's why the Bible says, look, the harvest is ready, yeah. but the laborers are few. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I encourage you that, look, don't never pass up an opportunity to tell somebody. Yes. They could be in that same state of mind that I was in. Ooh. Tired and tired of being sick and tired. Mm. But because I had no preacher, nobody that was on the Lord's side had a mind to come to my neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Mm. Right. Jesus. Glory to God. Ooh. Oh, that's powerful there. Come on now. And I'm telling you, you don't never count somebody out. That's right. Because of their present state of being. That's right. You know, a lot of folks, they give up too quick on people. Ooh, sure will. Whether it be family, friends, loved ones, we got to stop giving up too quick. As soon as they say, look, I used to hear talk folks say it all the time. I roll past this community, all oh, that the thugs out there, they drinking and smoking. They don't want to be saved. They're on their way to hell. And I asked one, I said, well, have you tried to reach them? Mm. No, they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. How do you know what somebody wants if you ain't talked to them? I came to seek and save that which was what? Lost. Oh. Oh. Glory to God. Oh, come on now. Have you tried to reach them? Mm. So they sent people to hell without even giving them an exit. Right. Um, Jesus. Right. Oh. And that's what God don't want us to do. Don't send people to hell without giving them an exit. Because if there's an entrance, there's an exit. Oh. Jesus. Oh, you preach it, Pastor. My Lord, honey. God specializes mm. in turning what you done lost hope in. Huh? What you said will never be nothing. Ain't nothing but a drug dealer that can't bring them. Ain't nothing but a sin of no good for nothing. Huh? Oh, but one day, glory to God. Huh? They told me about a man named Jesus. Huh? Come on, you have to tell him about a man named Jesus. What did he say in the world? I didn't send my son in the world to condemn the world. Men judge the world, criticize the world, but the world through hell might be saved. Glory to God. Might be saved. Ooh, there's an inner, there's so don't you be counted out. God has counted in. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. What you have for second, God said, I've been there the whole time. Come on, we got to get a heart like Jesus. We got to get the passion up. But those that don't know what you know, if they bow, never forget. You used to be bow. If you are so bad, don't you forget. You used to be one. Man, I walked in into my marijuana attic. 
with the church with a big old asshole. Come on, go grill. Some Taylor's baseball socks. But they didn't look at me funny. They showed me the love of God. They begin to hug on me. Come on, they begin to pat me on the back. Good to see you today. And I'm thinking ain't no hope for a sinner. I'm thinking church with no place for a sinner. Hallelujah. But what did Jesus say? I ain't come to call the righteous. But sinners to it. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
But they out of church and said, but come on, on Looney Tunes, let me come Looney Tunes. Come on, let's roll up, let's smoke. Mm. Now I ain't going to my church, but I know you went right. Oh. Yeah. Come on, now you know. Come on, let's, let's roll up. Mm. And you didn't let church, you said, let's roll up. Yeah. I ain't going to my church, but I know someone that didn't go together. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm down there, look, and I'm just stuck. No avenues, can't find a way out. Ooh, come on now. So, well, forget it. I guess I need to go to Tampa now. Mm. Mm. Same thing, same cycle in Tampa. Oh, you talking to some... Same cycle in Atlanta. Oh, Back in Alabama, it's the same it? cycle in Alabama. Man, wasn't nothing changing. Mm. Mm. But this last go round, 17 years ago, I went down here to stay. I was coming down here to meet my mom and them from Tampa to see my mom before I went to spring break in Panama City. The same old cycle every year. Mm. But this time, mm, this time, oh, this time, glory to God. God was setting me up. Mm. He was setting me up for greater. Right. Set me up. He saw I was thirsty because mm. I was. I was reading the Bible. I was sitting there and literally, like I tell you all the time, I was sitting there reading that Bible from sun up to sun down. Mm. I can tell you what it said when I read. <laughs> I can break that down. And one thing I know, I would read. I, first, then I had notebooks and notes, didn't I? Mm. I used to sit and watch George Myers. I ain't you know I ain't know the folks in the beginning weren't real preachers. Yeah. Watching yeah. all these folks in there and then started, hey, that stuff sounding good. You know why it sounded good? Hey man, I'm already worldly. Yeah. I'm trying to change all this about prosperity. You were happy. Right. Oh. Right. The beginning rough this on there, huh? Come on, man. So I got no, but she showed me the first time I had notebooks on. Of notes from from the preachers. When that come out, you going to hell if you don't repent? Mm. I ain't hear nothing of that. Mm. Lord, Oh, hey, I still have to put that down. Look, I, I need some help. Yeah. But God knew my heart. He knew I wanted to change. That's right. I couldn't because I couldn't. I just couldn't hear. I didn't, hey, I didn't have nobody to tell me the truth. Mm. But glory to God. I was going to that church. And when I went to that church, the only thing they did was show love. Because preaching the truth, I was shacking up, fornicating, still going. All, everything that I said to do, what I was doing, I was doing. But I still was just going to church. Mm. And then the leader, I mean, come on. They, they, they the relatives. You over there with us, you still good to see it. But you ain't gonna tell me shack it up, I'm going to hell. Mm. You gonna tell me about me laying up and I'm not married, it's gonna send me to hell. Mm. You show love with you to tell me the truth. The truth. Huh? Free. And I really want the real love of God. For real. Oh. Not because you hope somebody don't mean you love. Him. That's right. He said, come on, he said, are you mad with me? Because I tell you the truth. Right. See, people get the truth. The truth. You need to hear the truth. Yes, Lord. Huh? Thank you. He said, come on. He tell us the truth because he love us. No, he wants us to know the real. He wants us to be deceived. That's right. I was deceived. I'm telling you. She didn't tell you I was going to church two years. You couldn't tell me I was say. And I'm doing everything on the side. I wouldn't hear him sitting there. I ain't hearing nobody talking about nothing about what I was doing. Come on. Just good to see. I was in every service. Too faithful with me. I had a mind to be it. But one day that mother came to me. Mother McLeod, never forget. She said, God gonna give you a wife. Draw her up how you want her to be. Mm. I told you I did that. I know Tess wanna draw her up for a lady I want her to be. Glory to God, and, and she ended up meeting her and um, invited me February 24, 2006. That holding this church down there in Dothan, Alabama. Mm. Hey, walked in, had a gold grill in. Thought I was cool with it, huh? <laughs> cool with it. Blazer, jeans, Tim boots on, crease. I walked in the church. Whoa, what's going on here? Ooh, so what kind of feeling is this? I started, I'm, I'm going to mm. <laughs> You know that grill in? Ain't nobody saying that by no grill. Jesus. I was like, I was like, hey man. Not. The more I sat there, the more uncomfortable wow. I got with that grill in my mouth. Yeah. Right now, uh, I just have a church, I'm going to read the scriptures, and, and, and they got me doing that. I ain't never nothing wrong with that. But yeah. what's different from this church, yeah. from that church, yeah. I'm going to tell you God's presence. Yeah. God's anointing. Huh? Come on, Lord, that makes the difference. Huh? Come to the church, now, anytime you get in God's presence, it's supposed to make you uncomfortable right. in those sinful areas. Yeah. Read about Zacchaeus. That man was rich, he was chief folks, a tax collector. But when Jesus came to pass by, come when on. he got in his presence, when Jesus said, come down, Zacchaeus, today is your day, you're going to get saved. Right. And when they begin to walk back to his house, all of a sudden this man starts volunteering. See, the presence of Jesus <laughs> will make you real uncomfortable. He just starts volunteering, look, God. All them folks out and cheated. I mean, God ain't mentioned nothing about his sin. All them folks out and cheated, man. I, I'm giving it back full folk. I'm going to give it back to them. I'm going to give them double of what I did to them. See, the presence of God is supposed to convict you into such a way to where you turn from that thing that you don't really want to turn loose from. If 
we know that it's wrong conviction goes to turn it away. That's why you're feeling guilty over it. And that's how it was in the church. So the more I sat there, I couldn't take it alone, man. I just, yeah. Uh -huh. I snatched the thing in my mouth. Woo. Read a little bit now. I took the thing in my mouth, man. Goodness. And by the time Sister Ann Hill got that microphone. And every time they get out, they do the protocol, thank God for pass to the head. Man, this night, I remember she didn't do that. And when the up said, you go through and they go, I took it out now. Mm. See, God already knew. Mm -hmm. I knew she thought that woman didn't know me. The first thing woman didn't even see me. I was in the back row. Mm. Go through wearing baggy britches. Cussing attitude, you going to hell if you don't repent. And I said, whoa, huh? What kind of preaching is this? See, I needed something to preach against my lifestyle. Yeah. And see, that's what Jesus do. He comes against your lifestyle, the sinful way that you're living. God wants to deal with that because, look, God knows I need to get to his heart. Yeah. See, I'm a preacher to make you feel good in the flesh, honey. I'm not going to tell you to preach prosperity and money. This whole stuff, everybody here turn these shirts over. Excited. Go home. The mailman don't even run on Sunday. Mm. You have so much faith, you go home tonight. Open your mailbox, man. My check on me. Come on, man. Huh? Because that comes for the flesh. Yeah. You want money. But all this, look, you can't shack up and you ain't married. Yeah. Now you can't fornicate and you ain't married. Right. You can't smoke dope and call yourself a deacon. No. Oh, uh -uh. You can't cuss and call yourself a brother. No, you can't do that. You got to live right. Mm. You got to be delivered. See, some folks walking into the entrance door, and then now they're prophesying still inside the entrance. Oh! Now, now they're preaching, but never exited out of that oh. sinful environment. Oh. 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 Why do you got so many people saved and sanctified, so called? Right. They cuss, they smoke cigarettes. Right. I promise you, some of y'all out here that call yourself preachers, if I was going to your car right now, it'd be on 105.7. Oh! Mm. Uh -oh. Got no idea. I got uh -oh. that, yeah. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Now, if I was to pull up to church, blasting young Jesus, mm. it's over now. What, what, what's somebody gonna say? Mm. What's gonna say? Oh, that modern day, that modern day, they, they said that's cool. Yeah, huh? That's good. I didn't match it, huh? That that's crazy. He's cussing the sand everything, right? Come on now. He ain't real. He ain't real. They're gonna bash me. Yeah. But see, that's what God is looking at everybody, though. Yeah. The same way when you and me. When you come on the Lord's side, it just ain't the preacher. Yeah, people's eyes don't be on you more when you get a title. Yeah, that's just how that's going to be. That's why you got to live right. Yes. That's why you got to be an example. That's what they tell people when you're in position, it represents leadership. Right. And see, everybody ain't ready for leadership. Right. Right. Glory to God, ain't. Right. That's right. Some folks still be in that entrance door, and then they want to do this and that. Uh -uh, you want to walk. They ain't adding up. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't exiting nothing. Mm. They still caught up. So you can put on a facade all day long. What's in you gonna show up after a while? Ooh, oh, that's good. Come on. So now. look, you wanna make sure there's an exit. There is an exit. Jesus come to deliver us and set us free. So we have to understand. Look, don't count yourself out. Hmm. If you stuck like I was, bound, even if you're going to church and you know you smoke and you're doing whatever these things that you're doing, hey, that's okay. But be, don't cheat yourself. That's right. I want to tell people, don't cheat yourself. I go hard on myself. Look, I go hard. I tattletale on myself. I want to tell people, don't be all this street mentality trying to, I'm trying to prove how tough I am. And God, uh-uh. He wants us to humble ourselves. The Bible says he resists the proud, but he give grace to the humble, those that are willing to confess their wrong. You know, you got to be willing to confess your wrong. And God can help you. Glory to God. Come on, clap your hands. Mm, mm, mm. You can write those scriptures, Exodus 3, 7 through 14, when God said, I'm going to send Moses. I'm going to send a deliverer to him. Yeah. I'm going to send him to those children. Bring him out. Moses said, tell him who? Who am I going to tell him? Tell him that I am that I am. Let's come down to deliver. God wants to deliver us tonight. He wants to set us free. Yeah. He wants to be a people that confess him, but we're still in bondage. Yeah. To confess I'm saved, but still bound. Mm. Still about to lose it. Ain't mentally stable up here. One minute you want to live, the next minute you want to die. That is not being mentally stable. Glory to God. God wants to give you that exit to that. Where your mind, you can have true freedom in your mind. Ooh, oh, that's because real. people are captivated in their mind. You heard Sister Wanda say, look, when she first came, 
That was what she wanted to do. But stuff didn't go her way. Yeah. Wouldn't listen to her. She wanted to fight. Yeah. But she kept hearing the word. Oh. Uh, kept hearing the word. Whoa, you can't do uh, uh, you can't do this. No. God gave her an exit yeah. out of that state of mind. Yeah. Now she knows instead of wanting to fight to fix something, right. I got to pray now. Yeah. See, that was her exit out of that. Oh my God, you got to realize, he said, I'm the door to the sheep Yeah. Any man want to be saved, you got to enter in through me. Yeah. You come in here, turn away your thief and the robber. Yeah. Ain't no other way to peace. Mm. Ain't no other way to joy. Show yeah. light. Ain't no other way to being happy. I'm talking about happening every day of your life. And I tell people, they, I'm telling a lot of people, thank you, be gassing up stuff. Do. They do. Thank you, just making stuff bigger. Than, uh, you just over the top. Look, it ain't been one day. Mm. My wife can tell you, she's been a short man, no lie for me. It ain't been one day that I've been on the Lord's side. So I ain't had no peace. Mm. Right? Joy. joy and been through the fire. Mm. Oh, the Lost Holy my Ghost mama, real. Come on, still had peace. Yeah. Lost my daddy for two years, grieving himself to death, still had my same peace. Mm. Still able, in the midst of losing both of them, Ooh. still able to function oh, it's real. normally. Mm. Huh? And same spiritually, the same way before they passed. She could tell you I was the same way during their passing. Mm. And now it's been what? Seven, eight, mama, 16, daddy. 18, and I'm still operating the same peace and joy that I had before they even Ooh, passed. Yeah. Come with That's me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's benefits in having God. Ooh, come with me. But you got to get connected to him in order to have it. That's yeah. right. That's right. Because there's a way out of it. Don't give up. Ooh, there is a Don't give up on people. Don't give up on yourself. A lot of people give up on themselves. Don't give up. Don't let time trick you. Time will trick you. Time going on and going on and going on will make you feel like you ain't coming out of it. I'm telling you now. But you gotta hold on just a little while longer. Huh? He's on the way. He said, tell him I'm coming. I'm on the way. I'm gonna fight for him. That means your exit is here. He's gonna bring me out. Oh, glory to God. That's what exit means. The book of Exodus. That was the children Israel's exit. That's what exodus means. Exit. A way out of it. Yeah. And look, how many know? Is it time for your exodus? It is. Yeah. Huh? It is. According to your faith, do you believe that? Yeah. Are you tired and sick and tired of being bound? Are you tired of running like a hamster? Come on. But ain't gaining no ground? Come on. Mm. Glory to God, you got to get tired of life, of it's beating you up, of it's miserable, you unhappy, depressed. You got to wake up and realize, I need to come to Jesus. And I'm telling you, come to him just as you are. Oh, I tell people, look, are you hot? Come on. Come on. You drunk? Come on. Sister Red, then you come on. Set a drug in the church, then you that. But the presence of God will let it continue. She came as she was. Huh? And God delivered her. Yeah. Glory to God. What they say? A, 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 what they say? You was a bop poem? What, what, what they call diagnosis with? Yeah. Maniac. Um, maniac. Yeah, maniac. Bipolar disorder. Maniac, bipolar. Mm. Do y'all understand that? Maniac. Mm. Yeah. You've gone. The most of you. Hey, you yeah. Messed up. Like that man at the tomb. Like the man at the tombs. Doing stuff out of character. Mm. Yeah. He trying to jump out of moving cars. Yeah. Running. Yeah. Taking his clothes off. Doing all kinds of stuff. Had him out of his mind. Yeah. Ah, yeah. glory to God. But crap. Mm. Ah, yes, yes. Jesus. The power of God. Casting that devil out of us. Hallelujah. A maniac. Now he a preacher. A maniac. Now he a usher. A maniac. That oil of a warrior. Come on, God can deliver you. God can rescue you. God can bring you out of it. If there's an entrance, there's an exit. Huh? Ooh, get that if in. there's an entrance, there's an exit. Ooh, get that in your spirit. So look, don't give up on yourself. Hallelujah. Don't go in the towel. It don't matter how beat up you may feel in life. Ooh, you better get that in your don't spirit. Throw that towel in. Don't throw the towel in, church. Glory to God. Don't throw it. Hold on. I know it hurt, but hold on. Ooh. 